I can't eat any meals today. I'm not going to get into particulars. So if the audience diet? keeps seeing me do that. Special diet? Not a diet. All right, there we go. Something's going on. All right, so let's get into this. I think my lo- – I said this before. There's four games this weekend. They're all either way to me, except Dallas. I feel very strongly Dal- – Zeke is rested. O-line is rested. They're at home. Uh, Seattle is short week in it, traveling. You know, Seattle has traveled more than any team in the NFL. I think they're a bit worn down. I don't think they're quite as healthy. I love Dallas. Do you? It's funny. Yesterday, I don't speak for yourself. I said the same thing. Uh, Baltimore, Chargers, it's like, I don't know who's going to win. Texans, Colts, same thing. It's Philly, Chicago. For me, I'm that way. Dallas and and Seattle, when, when you just look at it, Dallas has a really, really strong team. They're better at every position except quarterback. And so I'm with you. I, I like the Cowboys to win the game. And that's probably, for me, would be my surest bet. And I said it yesterday. If you ran the Cowboys, Dak wins. He won the division, wins a playoff game, beats going to be a Hall of Famer, Russell Wilson. You got to pay him $29 million. You know I'm that. not doing it. Uh, he, oh, so you're letting him go. He has to, has to do he what? He has to Joe Flacco me. What, what's that mean? Win the Super Bowl. Oh, God. If, 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 I'm not doing it. So what are you going to do? If, well, if I have to franchise him, you, if you pay Dak Prescott $28 million, you're done for the duration of that contract. You're, you're done. You're not going to win because Ezekiel, Elliott, he'll be a free agent. Are you going to be able to pay him? And, and then you look at the guys on the defense side of the ball. You got Jalen Smith. You got Byron Jones. You got Amari Cooper. on all, You can't pay everybody. The way the NFL is orchestrated now, you – you're going to be your best team and have your better chance of winning when your quarterback is not making max money. Yeah, do you know it's your I, only chance? Yeah, the six highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL, none made the playoffs. You you can't and some you of can't them are surround good. them. You can't surround them with so Dak Prescott. The Cowboys should win this week. You're telling Dak Prescott though. Think about this. I want everybody to pretend you're Dak Prescott. So you're Dak Prescott. You get disrespected, even though you led Mississippi State to their best season in years, and they draft you in the fourth round. Then you come in and go 13-3 and, and win the division. And everybody's like, well. And he was great in that playoff game, by the way. He, he lost, was great he against was great. Green Bay. He was great. Okay. And then now he wins the division second time in three years. He's been the most underpaid player in the league. For a while, it was Russell Wilson. He is the most underpaid player in the league. The Cowboys, when Romo got hurt, was man overboard. They were, they were about to become extinct. Nobody wanted to put the Cowboys on TV off that 3-13 and season. He saves the franchise, and you're telling him to take a pay cut. That's okay. Oh, boy. Uh, I mean, you. It, somebody once told me it's, it's better to eat a bunch of small meals than one large meal. Take $22 million, four years, $88 million deal. No state tax in Texas. 50 guaranteed. You'll be right back to the table at 31, 32, and it, you're leaving possibly 30 to $40 million on the table but you're going to surround yourself with a great team and you'll make some of that money back on in endorsements. You'll be competitive for your entire career. That That's the way the NFL is going now. now you, you have to. Listen, I agree with if you. If Dak is smart, you make $28 million, you make $22 million, that's a $6 million difference. Well, if but, it was in L.A., $4 million the government would take. So I, I, I always did say this with D. Wade is that D. Wade was very fortunate. He inherited Pat Riley and aqua water and no state tax. So sometimes in life, you do have to look at yourself and go, I mean, the great thing about the Dallas Cowboys, you're going to get more endorsements as a Cowboy quarterback than you would a Jaguar quarterback. There's no state tax in Dallas. So I think if I was Dak or his agent, I would understand that we can take a little discount compared to the market. You know, if the market's willing to pay me 27, I could take 24 and say, listen, Dak, you're going to pay more taxes elsewhere. You got a good old line. You got Zeke. You got Amari. Just keep it. 24 would be, that's, if I'm Jerry Jones and Steven, 24 is my ceiling. I, I, I can't, I'm not going any higher than that unless you Joe Flacco me. That's it. That's me. That's not happening. We're yeah, not I, I, don't, I don't foresee that going on, but that, that's, that would be my ceiling. Just you want to remain hey, competitive. Okay, can I do the remember the quarterback face thing I did an hour ago that's just an utter disaster? I want to play it with you. All right. Okay, so we have this thing called quarterback. I did it a year ago. It was a disaster. I said that quarterbacks are the most important players. So we picked games based on who I thought was a better quarterback. And who do you end up with in the Super Bowl? Did you guys done this today? Yeah, already? I did it today. So I did it today. So here, oh, no, I did not. I do not. So I end up, are you going to partake in it? With uh, us? No, I'm not. You, okay. You're on your own. Okay, right, so I end up. Remember, it's 
Only the quarterback. Nothing gotcha. else. No okay, other great. factors. So I end up with Andrew Luck beating Drew Brees in the playoffs. In the Super Bowl. So that's the final. Let's go back to the beginning and see where you end up. So I end up with Andrew Luck beating Drew Brees. But let's go, Sam, let's go all the way back oh, to the wild okay. card weekend. And we'll just play quarterback face bracket right. with you. All right. All right, Sam, you got to get that off the board. All right, let's now keep going back one more. And then we'll go back to the very beginning because this is wild card weekend. Keep going back. You guys keep going back. So this week, here we go. Here we go. So this is the first weekend. So Luck, Deshaun, this morning, who do you take? Deshaun Watson. Today? Today. Okay, who do you take Wilson Dak? Russell Wilson. Who do you take Philip Lamar? If, oh, man. The hell, okay. what? <laughs> if, if I want to win? Well, or, does, 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 who's the Phillip better Rivers. quarterback? Phillip Rivers. Okay, and then He's, Foles Trubisky. Foles. That's what I said. That's what I said. He had 25 straight completions. Trubisky, they're doing David Copperfield. Chicago Bears will take Foles as okay, well. Okay, so you, the only one you disagree, you think Deshaun Watson's better than Luck? I think Deshaun Watson, he gives me more options. Luck has played great, and people say, oh, Luck doesn't have anything to work with. Yeah, he does. T.Y. Hilton is a monster, and Eric Ebron has played great. Yeah, he, he didn't play well in um, Detroit, but Andrew Luck has some pieces to work with. Okay, so let's go to your next bracket. So the next bracket, you would have Deshaun Watson against Mahomes. Who would you take there? <laughs> See, I think Deshaun Watson. All right. Okay. And then you Brady Rivers. Brady. And then Russell Goff. Russell Wilson. And then Foles Breeze. Drew Breeze. Okay. So we're we're actually not that deposed. You just I love luck. You like Deshaun Watson. So the next round, you would have Brady against Deshaun Watson. Yes, and I'll take Tom Brady. Okay, and then you would have Russell against Breeze. Oh, man. I know that's tough. I'd probably. Uh, huh? I'll take Drew Breeze. Okay. It's closer than you. I think it's because, closer. Because, see, I can't get it out of my head that I'm looking towards the future and not today. Like, if it, I'm, I got to. It's a boxing match today. Okay. I would take Drew. Okay, so the only difference with you and I, really, you really like Deshaun, and I really like Luck. I like Deshaun Watson because. Oh, I get he, it. No, I get it. When he was in college, the, yeah. what he did, and this is going to be his first playoff yeah. game. I'm eager to see, and the Patriot fans better hope Houston Texans win. They okay. better hope. Okay, so Brady Breeze, who would you take? Brady Breeze. I'm going with Tom Brady. So you have New England. So in your quarterback face bracket, I have luck winning the Super Bowl. You have Tom Brady winning the Super Bowl. Do you feel good about that? With my quarterback? With your with pick. The, yeah, I feel comfortable <laughs> with my with my pick, not with my team, if that makes any sense. I don't think the Patriots are winning a Super Bowl. I don't think they're good enough to. But I said that last week. I said that last year about week 12, and they ended up coming within a play. If they do it this year, man, I mean, Tom Brady is the ultimate quarter. Like, he is. He's already the best quarterback. If they win a Super Bowl this year with what he's working with, man, that's it, That would be almost discouraging for the rest of the league. You're it, like, what? If they win it this year, Edelman, it, Mr. Drop, Gronk's a shell of himself. They rebuilt the O-line. They got rid of Brandon Cooks and Josh Gordon. If the Patriots win this year, it is discouraging. Dude, I went back and I watched some tape of the Patriots from 2011 and 12. Look at Gronkowski run back then. Just look at him run and look at him now. It's, not, it's like a different player. Just go back and look at tape. Of him years ago and look at him now, oh, it's a night. The way he moves is a night and day difference. TJ, he runs like a lineman now. He runs like a, he, you know what he runs like? He Travis Kelsey runs like a fast tight end. Gronk runs like a fast right tackle. Yeah, it's it, he He doesn't, Brady's not working with much. If, if they win this Super Bowl, it's over. man, Tom Brady is unreal. It's, thanks for playing quarterback face with me. Yeah, I, I know it's funny though, because I knew, I, Looked at, I'm like, yeah, I know you love Andrew Luck. That a lot. That game right there this weekend for me is a toss up. Yeah, I, I feel the same. I, I, I'll take Luck. I don't feel great about it. I think I think Houston's got better players. I don't like in the history of the NFL playoffs. I never remember a the worst offensive line in the playoffs winning games. It's tough. Houston's got the worst O line in the entire playoffs, and I would say by a stretch. I, th I don't think you can win. If you win one at home, fine. It'll be close. You can't win multiple playoff games with that. That is tough. That yeah, is a bad old line. A lot of it, too, though, when you get quarterbacks that extend the ball, 
They want to try to make plays with their feet. Sacks are going to happen. I mean, you look at Andrew Luck. He's done a great job of getting rid of the ball. That's why his sack numbers are down this year. Yeah, good seeing you, bud. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.